But if you decide you do want to spend a meter, you can do a dash cancel after one of the quirk one hits. And then you've got 9,400 damage, which dash cancels or not. He has really interesting combos that like really utilize Dark Shadow and Tokuyami to like really show them as two different people until they combine together and then you can end your combos. So if you're comboing in this state, you always end in Tilt Quirk 2, I'm um, Tilt Quirk 1, and not only just because it can lead to Wall Splat, but it also does a lot of damage, and it's his most damaging combo ender. So if I do one hit into this, that will again, and that's how he's going to get a lot of his combo extensions for free. Because then you can do the attack into this, and that's a Wall Splat. And then, and then that's 11,000 damage for a single dash cancel because they got hit by red grab, which is pretty, pretty decent damage. Combo-wise, because it does a lot of damage and like even after it's done, you can go into his regular combos. That was a bad example, but so like combos he can do look like this, into this, and then Dark Shadow is doing that, and then when that's nearly over, I can go into this, and then go into the conjoined state, and then do combos from there, it's, he's very... So, combo-wise, Tokuyami has quite a few different combo routes. He can either do his like completely meterless combo by cancelling into his um, transform after regular hits to do a combo like this, which does 6,700 damage meterlessly. Sometimes it does a bit more, 7,200, which isn't great damage, but you can also put a dash cancel in there if you decide you do want one. Oopsie. And then you're getting 9,500 damage, which is pretty decent damage for a single dash cancel, that's about average damage. But he also has things where if you ever get an air attack, you can cancel into his um, quirk too. So a lot of the time I actually do a single attack into an armor attack, and even though that doesn't combo, it, um, it works quite a lot of the time, not only because the opponent thinks that it's a combo and they just get hit by it because it happens really quickly, but on block, if they don't know how to deal with this, this can almost be a block infinite, like, a lot of the time. <laughs> the opponent doesn't know what to do and they get hit by stuff and then... It's really awkward, because they don't know how to deal with this, Because and if they do try to do something, I can just run away while that happens. Or run back, and then run away, and then run back, because his arm move is disconnected. So, obviously there's a gap to like sidestep or do something, but it can be scary if you don't know what you're doing. So yeah. If I do get an armor attack, which does happen quite a lot of the time, I can go in for my yellow attack, I mean my two air attacks, which is something like this, which is 8,100 damage, which is pretty good damage meterlessly, but you can actually make it even more. So if I... the reason I do two air attacks, by the way, even though they don't do that much damage, is not to increase the damage, it's because I need to wait for um, Dark Shadow to go away before I can cancel into another one of my Quirk Bites. So then I bring out Quirk 2, and then do the double air attacks again, and then go in like this, and it was a lot more work, but it looked so cool, didn't it? And it did about 9,000 damage completely free, which is really good damage, um, meterlessly. So yeah. Um, if you've gotten any hit, even like with the Quirk 2, if you're out here, I know I can combo that into my jump attack, and that's always what you want to be aiming for with Tokyo, because that's how he's going to get the most damage in his regular state, is by go doing an air attack into his Quirk 2. So if you ever have the opportunity, that's what you want to be doing. Whoops, I messed up. So like, if I get a hit like this, I know I can jump into the air and do my air attack. And there we go. That one was a bit less because of Quark 2 scales and stuff. But yeah, if you do want to be fancy, you can actually do um, multiple attacks. You can do this multiple times. Um, you can actually do the Quirk 2 loop twice if you want, like you can do this 
into the Quirk 2 like twice, but a lot, then your combo will end in a Meaty Blow, and that isn't really worth it for Tokuyami, because he's really good at getting Meaty Blows with his, um, uh, his Tilt Quirk 1. He's very consistent at getting them, especially since, like, if I get a combo... Oops. And I'm facing, like, this way. Oh my god, and I don't suck. Hello? <laughs> Dark Shadow, are you in there? There we go. I can position myself. Oh. <laughs> or try to position myself to be facing a wall so that when I do my combo, it leads to wall splat. But I, um, I failed that a bit. But <laughs> you can see the point. Because he can move around during the quirk too, he can line up, you know, for whatever. I do want to do a combo from this angle. Or from this angle. Oops, that was messed up, but still did pretty good damage. So yeah, Tokuyami gets different damage from different situations, but a lot of the time you want to make sure you're going into the, um, the air attack from where, from what, it, like if ever possible. So the how now I've gotten a wall splat. What is happening there? Oh man, I messed that up. But yeah, I got my. You want to make sure you're doing an air attack, because that's where he can get into his combos. And if you mess it up, it's been free, so it's not like you've like really lost anything by messing it up. Just like the opportunity of doing damage, I guess. Um, if you're doing a combo when you're in this state, when you are in the combined state with Dark Shadow, you can do a combo such as three hits um, into his armor move. And then he'll almost always go into a wall splat. And then you get really good damage off of that. Or you can even just do three hits into the beginning of his quirk one into this. Which, that one requires you to be a bit better way to get a wolf flat. There we go, 11,000 damage just for a single wolf flat. That's pretty good damage. Um, he can also get combos if you've managed to get his um, his red attack, his, this grab, just like his other combos. If you're in this state, you can just dash up and do his combo from the um, from the air. If you ever see you're facing the wall, just stick into doing something like this. Oh, that was weird. Because <laughs> Duck was attacking him backwards. But that was 10,000 damage just because I, you know, saw that I was facing the wall. And it wasn't even his properly extended combo. So yeah, the grab is really good in this state because he can get a combo from his jump attack, but yeah. This is basically his regular combo route, is you're always going to be doing two jump attacks after some, after his quirk 2 or whatever, and uh, you do two jump attacks into his quirk 2, and then when, when that's nearly over, two jump attacks into his quirk 1, into his tilt quirk 1, and then if you get a wall splat, just do something on the wall, like a few attacks into tilt quirk 1. And then you're getting pr pretty good damage. Uh, and yeah, that works off of like almost anything if you do it off of your air red attack. It works if you do it off of your yellow attack and you see that it's probably going to hit. You can dash in and... Or even off of your air yellow attack. And yeah. If you do get two hits of this string accidentally, which happens to me a lot online because of the online delay, a lot of the time I do a dash cancel and then go into this like the hit, like so, in order to get some damage. That way, even though it's cost me a dash cancel, and you don't really want to ever be doing a dash cancel with Tokuyami if you're not going to get some decent damage for it. Or with any character for that matter. But you're still getting some pretty good damage if you get a wall splat, but it's usually not worth it. Usually. If I get a hit, I will go into this. Oh, 
or try and go for something tricky like into because the second hit is actually quite like slow I usually do sometimes I do one hit and then go into this and then I've gotten a combo that way because I was a bit tricky and mixed them up because that yeah it is a really good mix-up tool Ah, oh, whoops. But yeah. As I've said like 15 times in like the last two minutes, you're always going to be wanting to do two jump attacks into something, two jump attacks into something. It It's like the recipe for success with Tokuyami. If you get a grab, two jump attacks, into quark 2. If you see this quark 2 hitting, Two more air attacks into Quark 2. Sometimes you have to time them a bit, di a bit differently depending on the situation. But yeah, he is actually a really fun character. He's definitely very difficult and complex to use. But it's very rewarding to play him because. Because you're being because you're playing with such a unique and underplayed character. And he is actually pretty strong if you play with him correctly. And since a lot of your combos that you're going to be doing are not going to be cost costing you any dash cancels, you're going to often have access to his plus ultra 2, which is good because plus ultra 2s are always good for getting a nice big chunk of damage at the end of any combo. Or just even at the start of a combo if you want an unbreakable chunk of damage, it's good for that. And yeah. I think that is practically Tokoyami in a nutshell, I don't really have much else to say for him. So you're always, you know, <laughs> doing combos like this. And yeah, they are quite difficult, but it's really rewarding to try and get them. And he has just such an interesting playstyle, since he has all of these attacks that aren't actually connected to his body. So it's very interesting to see like how you can mix your opponent up, how I can like throw out this yellow attack so that he'll go through a projectile. Reset for some reason, but it would have been about 10,000 damage. But yeah, he's very interesting. Like weird long-range like red attack. He has a red grab that he can combo out of very easily because he just holds him there for you to like jump up and whack him with. And yeah, he's a very unique character. A really good plus ultra one. And yeah, I think <laughs> I know I just said it like three times. But he's very unique. No other characters I know of are able to like combo into a move that just holds the opponent in the air and then you can combo into it again and he has very interesting complex combos and with like it's almost like two people fighting you if you're playing Tokoyami well because it's Dark Shadow and Tokoyami versus the opponent and that can be really scary for a lot of people if they don't know how to deal with you at all because a lot of people don't play Tokoyami so no one's gonna know how to fight against you but that is the end of the video, guys. I think that is all I have to say about him. Um, yeah, I don't know any extra fancy things to show at the end. A lot of the time, he is a little bit below average damage. That didn't combo for some reason. But he does good damage. He can be really interesting. His Quark 1 is actually very fast. You can use it as a punish in order to like go into some kind of... Um, interesting combo and using it as a punish and it's very large hitting move like it hits from an unusual distance and it hits high up as well so yeah sorry for making this a bit of a long one but Tokuyami is just a really interesting character to, to me in this game he's very fun and I'm glad that I played with him and there's I have quite a few online rank sets video um, rank sets uploaded with him if you're interested and there's certainly more coming because I find him really fun to use. Um, I don't. I think he is a bit low tier, but he makes up for it for how funny he is. Because you can make him work if you know how to play him. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.